Hello, welcome back to John Wayne Gaming. Today, uh, we're going to check out undervoting a 4070 Ti Super. Alright, this is what I got here. I got Cyberpunk, it's on 1440p. Alright, this is at stock settings. Alright, we're running about 67 degrees at 270-something watts at 2700 uh, megahertz at 60... Let's say about 62 FPS. Alright. This is how I figured this out um, on overclocking. Alright. Up here, if you know your game will run at, let's say, a mega, 100 megahertz. See, mine, mine always crashes about 150, 160 on every game. So, if I bring this back, which this brings up the whole chart bar right here. All right, this brings up the whole chart bar. All right, so we're running at 2775 megahertz. So this this line is what it's running at right here. So we need to find which one. So it's probably one of these two right here. All right, so it's running at 1,000 megavolts. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take 1,000 megavolts and we're going to drop it all the way down I would say about 75 megavolts. All right, now it's running at 69, 67 degrees hot. So what we're going to do is, after we raise the bar up, to what you know you won't crash at. I see a lot of people just say, just raise this bar up so much. No, what, what it is for me is, this right here is as much as you can without crashing in every game. Then you go and hold your shift key down and you go all the way back. See, it's running at 1,000 megavolts. So we want to drop it, let's say, about right here. So we're going to take that, release shift. If it's going to let me do it, sometimes it won't let me do it. You have to get in between, let's see here. You have to get on a line or something. It's crazy. All right, then you hold. Then you grab it with your mouse and drag it all the way down, okay? Then you push the uh, accept button over here. All right, so what this does is now I am from 1,000 megavolts to 950 all the way down. All right, and this right here has been boosted, but it stops it stops overvoting right here. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to turn this all the way up. For right now, without overclocking the memory, we're going to see what we got. Now, it was at 69 degrees, uh, about 60, was it 64 FPS? All right, now, now look, now we're down to 61 degrees, 59 degrees, and we're only at 220, 230 watts, 227 watts, and our clock has dropped a little bit. Uh, but FPS, is, it was at 65, 64, 65. Now it's at, uh, see, it's it dropped a couple. But now I dropped over almost 10 degrees. 10 degrees. And now I'm using less voltage, less wattage. Uh, and my clocks has dropped just slightly a little bit. So what we're going to do here to make up the difference of the power, we're going to go back over here. And every card that I've done holds almost a thousand, at least a thousand. So, but every card's different. Every card is different, like I said. And now we're going to, let's see here. At, okay, let's, you know what, we're just going to leave that alone. We're going to see what we got here. All right, now we have a steady 64, 65. See how it's stronger? to stay up there about 64 65 how it was now it's back up there where it was and now we have 57 degrees 57 degrees at 200 it went down to 220 watts and i'm getting the same fps with 10 degrees lower and was 60 watts lower 60 watts lower and uh 75 millivolts lower than it was this is this is awesome guys this works very well now i've also noticed that on some of these things like i said this matters a lot right here 
instead of just going over here and dragging and say, well, I'm going to grab, I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to grab the whole bar and move it up like that and see how it moves the core clock. Okay. This is easier for me to go over here and set what I need because I know it will crash at 130 on every game. If I go up here and put it on, let's say, 150 or 200, it's going to crash. So you put it on your, your limit that you can that you know will not crash on every game. That's how you test this first. Before you do anything else, test this first. You go to your max that you know will play every game. Then you find out where your megahertz is in your game with your stock settings. Then you go back and say if it was at at your stock settings, which is this line right here, it keeps popping up and down. Say if it's running, click on it, take a minute. All right, say if it's running a thousand megavolts. All right, so what you do is you hold shift down, say a thousand megavolts, and you go back. All right, so you start dropping your megavolts, which drops wattage too. And say if you wanted to, to, to pit right here. You release shift, you grab it, pull it all the way down, and bam. So you you boosted this. And this right here matters a lot when you start games because it will be at low uh, megahertz when you start a game. This matters a lot. So if you got this too much on your core clock, it will crash. But what you're doing here is you're making a you're shutting this the, the voltage off right here. It's limited right here. And now, all the way out here through here, it's going to level it out. And this will drop, like I said, I dropped 10 degrees. 10 degrees and overclocked the core clock about 1,000 and had almost the same same FPS. And make sure you, ra you raise your power and stuff up too because this just helps it kind of slingshot it when it needs it. Uh, and you put your fan, the higher you put your fans on, the better. Uh, that's up to you. But hey, this is all I need to show right here, guys, because this is proof that under voting a 4070 Ti Super is beautiful. So hope you all like, click like, and subscribe, and God bless.